Well, it's Sunrise Sunday, and the sun has risen quite a bit ago here in sunny North Carolina. Typically, I hit you all up uh, first thing in the morning for me. It's obviously different times all around the world, but uh, today I, I was delayed. I wasn't having a good morning this morning and uh, decided to, uh, to wait until after we went to church today. And uh, I wanted to share something with you that, uh, that I'm glad I did uh, wait because what I got, I think, is going to be pretty powerful for you. Uh, and it comes uh, today out of Luke. Uh, again, this isn't designed to preach to you necessarily, as it is for you to listen to the message behind uh, what I'm getting ready to share with you, all right? So there is a very popular uh, parable about a woman with an issue of blood in Luke chapter eight. Uh, and what I wanna talk to you about that is that she was uh, going through an issue where she was bleeding for a premature entire adult life. Everybody knew about it. It was just part of what she went through and she hated it. Uh, she heard about Jesus coming through town, knew that uh, he had the, uh, the, the fame of being someone who was able to heal people. So she thought, you know what, if I go to this place, I wanna go there and get healed. Obviously, I mean, she'd been going through a lot of junk her whole life, right? So she goes there and sees him, but the crowd was pretty, pretty big. There's a lot of folks there. Uh, it's like, you know, your big favorite guy comes to town and everybody wants to go see him. Right, so that's what was happening. And uh, she got to the moment where she said, you know what, I'm not gonna be able to get to him. But I believe that if I could just get to where he's at and just reach out and touch the hem of his garment, his clothes he was wearing, if I could just touch that, I know that I'll be healed. It's amazing, right? So she was desperate to be healed, one. She wanted that so bad, she was willing to do whatever it took. So as she did that, Right, she's in, the, in this thing, Jesus walking along, everybody's talking, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Say, hey, hey, how you doing, Fred? Hey, Pete, hey, blah, okay, I love you. Right, all of a sudden, boom, Jesus says, stop everything. And when he did, he said, who just touched me? Right, and all the people around him were like, Jesus, are you for real? Because like, did you look around and see like there's thousands of people here and you're saying, who touched you? Like, I don't know, everybody, Jesus, right? He says, no, 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 I'm telling you. Somebody touched me and I'll tell you why, because I felt power come out of me. Something happened, I felt power. Of course, he knew what was going on, but this was all for a teaching moment. Jesus always taught. Are you willing, no matter where you're at, in your life, in your circumstances or situations, are you willing to do whatever it takes to get what you, you so desperately want? And are you willing to go where you need to go? One, she had to say, I can't do this on my own. I need to go to a source where I know it's going to happen. And two, she was willing to say, you know what? Even if I can't talk to this guy, I know what he's capable of doing if I just reach out. That's faith. If we're just willing to reach out and just touch, just touch what you're going for. Your life can change. So my friends today, I wanna to encourage you on this Sunrise Sunday, whatever you're facing in your life, I'm preaching to the choir right here, whatever you're facing in your life, don't give up. Have the faith. Believe that no matter what you're going through, that there is a way out and that, that you're gonna do whatever it takes to do it come hell or high water. And that's exactly what happened with this lady and exactly what can happen with you. All right, y'all. I hope you have an incredible week. Reach out this week for what's yours. Reach out. Be humble. Be one who wants to give and share. And I guarantee you that what you're going after, it's going to happen.